Gerard Kushner, President Trump's son-in-law, trusted advisor and well-known New York businessman, is being cited by two national titles, The New York Times and The Washington Post, as having suggested to the Russians the setting up of a secret line of communication between the Trump campaign team and the Kremlin. Now, according to the newspapers, the meeting took place here in Manhattan at Trump Tower, which at the time was President Trump's base of operation before moving into the White House. And according to the newspapers, present at the meeting were the Russian ambassador to Washington, D.C., Sergei Kislyak, and also the former U.S. national security advisor, Michael Flynn. It's not unusual for Washington to have a hotline with Moscow. There's one in the White House to the Kremlin to try and prevent accidental nuclear strikes. But if this is true, what is unusual is the suggestion that Russian diplomatic equipment be used. Now, we also have no way of knowing for certain whether the Russians are exaggerating these claims that are now being reported in the newspapers. But Gerard Kushner himself is known to be a source cited by several news organizations in the FBI's investigation into possible collusion between the Trump team and the Russians in the run-up to last November's election. It is thought that he is the person of interest. For his part, Gerard Kushner's lawyers have said that he will cooperate fully in any investigation into alleged tampering in the U.S. election by the Russians. The White House has made no substantial comment on the issue yet. John Terrett, CGTN, New York.